gonna take an ordinary lampshade just like this one and transform it into a whimsical Christmas tree collar. It's Orly, doing it only the way Orly can. It looks like little drummer boy Orly, so cute. I know, well I love the whole like toy soldier, drummer boy, like those colors, that aesthetic, the gold, the black, the red, I think it's really cool and it makes for super fun decor. And nothing makes me happier than finding the fastest way to do any single given <laughs> thing ever. And using an already existing drum lampshade saved all of the time, I don't even know what to say. Like, my original plan was really a, a lot of work, and this guy is so much easier. So tree collars are actually a popular thing. They just sort of replace a tree skirt. Exactly, yeah. It's a way to sort of create like a, a structure, a, a visual point at the bottom, just like you would with a Christmas tree skirt. But it's a collar that's going all the way around the base of the stump, you know, the, the tree stump, yeah. essentially, its neck, basically. So beautiful, and you know what else it hides? Yeah. It hides the little thing that you have to pour water in. Right, exactly. Oh, how about that? Exactly, and that's actually a great point while we're there, just thinking about scale, this particular one is more meant for like a smaller tree, maybe okay. a secondary tree or a tree in a kid's room, something like that, because obviously we're not cutting out any of this wire that's inside, the metal. This is actually what the tree will just stand on. Oh, it functions okay, as good the base. to know. So just think about that as far as what's going inside your tree going in. Okay, perfect. So what do we do first? First, we have to find our, our lampshade. Exactly. When you're doing that, just make sure that it's a classic drum, which means that the uh, top and the bottom dimensions, the circumference are the same. So it's a perfect cylinder. You don't want anything that is sloping out. Okay. Next thing you're gonna do is paint the entire thing red or whatever color you choose, but if you're doing this red, you can use spray paint, brush paint, whatever you want. Brush paint takes longer. Okay. Um, spray paint's a little bit easier, but you will need multiple coats. Yeah, and also probably depending on the fabric of your lampshade, yeah. what paint you're gonna use. Yeah, well yeah. actually any is gonna take to it. Like okay. a spray paint's totally gonna work. You just might need more coats if it starts absorbing it. Okay, so now, we have we have it painted. We have to wait a second yeah. for that to dry. Yeah, so I'm gonna move to this one. Now this is actually one that I started on and changed my mind. Do you see the, the triangles there? Yes. So I had originally painted the triangles with brush paint, then decided to just spray paint the whole thing red. And I love that. So I'm gonna use this, I, I, it is really cool. I'm gonna use it as a step out right now so we don't waste materials. Okay. But what you would do after the whole thing is red is you would start to create your border for your black. I found like an inch and a half about this is what's getting black. Right. So basically you would go all the way around, all the way around, nice and even. And you would do the same thing on the bottom. And because we want everything else to stay red, you need to tape here. Right. Right. So you do one Perfect. more row right here, and all this is taped. So that way, the only thing that's exposed is the top inch and a half and the bottom inch and a half. And it's making me realize now, if you found black lampshades, I bet it would still work as well, because you're just going to paint it red instead. You'd I mean, actually be better off getting red because the black border is going to cover red more easily than then red is going to the cover other way. Black. So okay. if you think about that, just always start with your lighter color okay. to layer on top of, because you can't really reverse it. So you would spray paint this again, two coats. And what you end up with is this here. This basic structure right here, right? So we've got our lampshade, we've got our black border, red body, black border. And now you've really kicked it up a notch and made it only the way Orly would make it, which is fantastic. It's you really added fun. little knobs. Yeah. So I found these at the craft store. They're just little wooden knobs that I painted gold. You can see there. Basically, what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to loop our rope, our gold, you know, twisted, beautiful rope up and down and up and down. Okay. If you can find metal hardware, use that. If not, simple wooden ones are gonna work. You just wanna paint them gold. All right, now what kind of glue would work best to glue these guys on? Okay, Debbie, it's a situation. It's an easy situation, <laughs> but it's a situation. I started doing it with hot glue, because I'm like, duh, easy peasy. But you want to be able to pull on them, because when we loop it, we're going to pull against them to make it tight, and, and it wasn't strong enough. Okay. So you want to use a really strong glue. Something like an E6000 might be really good, but remember how long that needs to dry. Okay. To fully cure is generally 24 hours, right? So just keep that in mind. You're going to do it. Let it be. We did these. I did these, added these guys on this morning. So we're not gonna pull as tight as That's we tight. normally would, but what, you are gonna see the looping technique. Could crazy glue? I mean, I feel like crazy glue glues everything, right? I do, I do think so. I mean, listen, okay. you're gonna be along for the ride because we just added a dot of, of crazy glue and we're, and gonna, we're gonna see, see how strong happens. it is. I'm gonna so add this right basically, here. just real quick, what you would do is you wanna just measure. So I like use my hands for almost everything. So I went like this, I added a little um, chalk mark, you can see right there. And then I like went like that, added another little chalk mark, went like that, added another one, and that just creates my border. Then in the middle of those two is where you do your next one. Okay. So find your center, 
come down, and there's our next one. All right. Now I'm we're gonna, gonna loop. You start off with whatever's gonna be your back, and you just create a little knot, something to anchor it onto. You're not gonna see this, this will be in the back. Now what you're gonna do is come down on the wrong side so that you can loop and come back up. Okay. So we're gonna loop, we're gonna go back up just like that. Now again, wrong side, loop, come back up. Wrong side, loop, come back up. And you keep going like this until the entire thing is completed. Okay. And that's how we end up with this really cool detail all along here where it's got that pretty little loop on the bottom. That's so cute. And it comes up. Pretty little loop. You could do a loop on the top and the bottom, whatever you want. But all you're gonna do is keep going. And when you get to the one in the back where you knotted off the first one, you knot off the last one, Flew that it. goes in the back. And you're never gonna see where you started and ended. And even if you didn't have these knobs, you could just use a little dab of glue and do the same thing. That's a great point. You'd wanna use fabric glue for oh. that. It would actually be the right thing to use because this is fabric, as is your lampshade, right? So if you do that, basically, let's just kind of show that real quick. What you would do is here on the bottom, you'd add a little droplet of glue, give it time okay. to dry. You'd come up, you'd add another one now up here. And Once this glue. one's basically dry, you're gonna come down. Same add another thing. one here, right? So you can do it without the knobs. It just looks like hardware. And right. It's like and fabric and glue actually dries pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. And this guy now is it worked. So crazy glue works, Debbie. Crazy glue. That was works. Debbie's idea, by the way, saving the day. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how good crazy glue is. And I love that you put the, put the poinsettias around the bottom too. That yeah. Makes it super pretty. Well done, Orly. It's fun. I mean, it is really beautiful. It's super. It elevates any Christmas I tree. I think so. And how great would this be for a kids' room? I oh, mean, I can't. Perfect. So sweet. Thank so sweet. you, Orly. For Thank full you. instructions, you guys can head on over to Hallmark channel.com and check out more from Orly at the DIYdesigner.com.